When this massive machine used to excavate tunnels reached the southern landfall of the Toon Moon Cheklapcock Tunnel, Ken Jang was there to witness the moment. Ken was assigned to handle the Toon Moon Cheklapcock Link Northern Connection right after he joined the Highways Department. This challenging project included constructing the longest and deepest subsea road tunnel in Hong Kong. I feel very satisfied because I can witness this project, which is gradually developed from drawing, planning, and finally the project is, uh, is being done. This is the first time Hong Kong deployed large diameter tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, for tunnel excavation beneath the seabed. One of the TBMs deployed is the world's largest. With a diameter of 17.6 meters, it is as tall as a six-story building. With the rotating steel cutter head at the front, the machine can pass through different types of soil or rock. It can also excavate under pressurized condition. As compared to the traditional immersive method, the use of TBM for the subsea tunnel construction has greatly reduced the amount of disposal and judging of around 11 million meter cube of marine sediment, and it is equivalent to the size of around 4,900 swimming pool. The adoption of TBM can also save the need to divert the cable which is now serving the Hong Kong International Airport. With these measures, we can greatly in reduce the impact of construction to the environment. The subsea tunnel is about 5 kilometers long and connects Toon Moon South and the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge Hong Kong port. The deepest section of the tunnel is about 60 meters below sea level. When boring underneath the seabed, specialist hyperbaric workers had to carry out daily maintenance works and overcome an atmospheric pressure nearly six times greater than that at the surface. The project provided special habitats with pressurized living chambers to accommodate the workers' 28-day work cycle. Workers were transferred by pressurized shuttles to the excavation chamber to conduct their work and transferred back to the ground surface after working hours. The pressurized living chambers ensured their safety and greatly reduced the risk of decompression illness. The tunnel is also the first in Hong Kong to include a service gallery underneath its carriageway. The utilities Inside the surface gallery includes drainage pipes and the fire services systems, power supply, and the signal control system, etc. The surface gallery is located underneath the tunnel's carriageway. Therefore, when we have to carry out the wood team maintenance and the repair works of the tunnel, it can be carried out during the tunnel operation. And moreover, it can reduce the risk of tunnel closure due to the emergency repairs. This can minimize the disturbance to the public. Liz Lee has been working for the government for 10 years and says the tunnel is the largest project she's ever worked on. She also faced challenges during the process that she described as an unforgettable experience. Due to the outbreak of COVID-19 in this year, the supply chain of the construction material and the installation has been affected, and also the number of workers have been reduced. We have to work closely with the project team to solve the problems, and such as we have to source alternative materials in order to minimize the impact to the project. Both Liz and Ken are pleased to see the construction of the tunnel finished and looking forward to celebrating its official opening on December 27th. I also feel very proud that I can take part in this project as this project can bring convenience to the public and bring benefits to the Hong Kong. So one day if I take my kids to this mega project, I will tell them and that's the mega project that your father was participating in and they should feel proud 